you very much for having me. It's uh, uh, an honor to be here, first time in Rotterdam as well, so um, I'm thoroughly enjoying it, so thank you. And I also know a little birdie told me that tomorrow we'll have even a bigger treat because you're going to perform for us. Yes, yes, I do uh, play music as well. Um, and I will be playing some music tomorrow. We're going to look forward to that. But to before that, I think we're going to grill you a bit. Okay. With some questions from our lovely audience. Be gentle. Guys, be gentle, okay? Be gentle. So our audience have questions for you, they're lining up in the microphone okay. there, and I think we got a shift. So guys, remember be respectful, nice, and go ahead. Please. Do we have any Slytherins in the house? <laughs> the rest of you can leave. <laughs> that will massively help. <laughs> go ahead. I'm joking. Uh, sorry, hello my love. Hello. Um, First of all, I want to say thank you for saving so many lives every day with your music, with your performance in films and yeah, I don't know if you know, but you really save lives. Thank you. Uh, um, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I, uh, it's crazier to think people from other countries uh, that I have any positive effect on their life because I live a very normal life with two crazy dogs um, so thank you for that and all I ask is anyone that has ever felt any love or joy or peace from anything that I've done to pass it on to the next person who needs it more Series that you will never forget. Something that an actor said to you that you will never forget. There's a few. There's a few. Um, uh, too much. Too many to pick from. Good question. Good question. Um, I think I don't remember exactly the words he said, but I remember the first time that I worked with Jason Isaacs. Who plays my uh, my dad, Lucius? And I ha I was twelve years old, thirteen years old, um, and he was telling a story in a charming, lovely way, as he always does. Uh, he's a lovely, lovely man. And when they started rolling cameras, sometimes people stop talking and they prepare. And he didn't seem to do that. He just went from being the nicest guy that I've met to suddenly being <laughs> the, the worst person I could possibly imagine. He hit me a few times with uh, his cane, um, and it was t terrifyingly amazing to see someone go from this guy, this happy guy, and then turn into uh, the worst father you could possibly <laughs> imagine. But well, what a great lesson in, in being an actor as well. Absolutely. Right? I've, learned, I've, I've learned from the best. And he's, he's, uh, he's one of them, so. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dan. Next question, please. I have a feeling you're going to have more than one yeah, question. Yeah, I have two questions. Go ahead. Great, wait, so, sorry. Uh, my, Gryffindor? My first question is... No, 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 look, I am on a cover. My aunt... No, I'm not, I'm not sure about it. My, my aunt gives this to me, uh, but she's a Gryffindor, so yeah, I just wear this. It's okay, my brother's yeah. a Hufflepuff. Uh, so, um, my first right. question is... Go for it. My first question is, uh, what was the favorite scene to, for you to make in Harry 
Yeshua's favorite scene? I mean, it's impossible to give you one answer. <laughs> but, ah, uh, well, I'm between two answers now. Um, either the dueling scene in the Chamber of Secrets on the big long table, because we got to do stunts, which was cool. Or the uh, bathroom scene in Half Blood Prince, where me and Harry get to yeah. have a battle. That was a that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. But there are so many more. But those are two off the top yeah. of my head. No. Um, my second question is, what's your favorite spell? <laughs> what's yours? Um, Okay, I'm, just, I'm glad you said that because I, I always ask and occasionally people say about Kadavra and I'm like, this should not be your favourite spell. <laughs> um, I'm more of a Expelliarmus man. I like the Latin and uh, felt good to say. Yeah, thank, thank you, you brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Undercover. <laughs> Sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> but um, tomorrow I have like a photo option, like the slithering outfit, but like I want to ask you, how was like carnival? <laughs> how was carnival? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, uh, which which carnival? Yeah, how was it like? Which carnival? Oh yeah, carnival. Oh, did you did you celebrate carnival? Uh, which con? Uh, as in, in yeah, Brazil? No, 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 like a kind of No. I'm no. <laughs> well, uh, still not. Oh, the, the convention? <laughs> what? I don't, I don't understand uh, con. Oh, sorry, like, I was like. Sorry? Uh, okay, is no. there another word that yeah, we could use other than carnival? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you, did you celebrate carnival in Holland before? Uh, so you're not talking about I don't think so, no. Mardi Gras in New Orleans, you're not talking so. about Brazil. I think the carnival in Holland. The no, Brazil. I didn't realize you had one. I didn't know you had one. Yeah, it's a big thing. <laughs> Is it tonight? <laughs> <laughs> it's a February. Well, like, how, how's Dutch food? Oh, oh and now Dutch food, okay. Yeah. What? How's Dutch food? Yeah. I uh, uh, am a fan of your pancakes. Uh, oh, yeah. Dutch food is good. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, question, please. Hi, fellow Slytherin here. Chief. Yeah. Um, if it's possible, I have two questions. Okay. Um, I know you play guitar and yes. you write songs. Yes. But what is the best time for you to make music? Uh. Uh, another hard question. Uh, I would say after watching music or listening to music, like if I go to see uh, a show, like usually actually like co comic con conventions, I'm a fan of half of the people in the green room. So I get to geek out uh, and I get inspired by hearing stories. Um, Christopher Lloyd, my, fav my favorite for stories is who he's worked with and and uh, so uh, I learn a lot from that. Um, but usually it's straight after seeing something that's inspirational. Uh, and the, the worst part is it's usually recorded and thought of in about five minutes. And I record it and the next day I've completely forgotten. Same. <laughs> completely forgot. So that's, when I'm on an aeroplane, all I do is just go through my voice notes. And I go, oh, that's a good song. I should write that song. Which I never do, but uh, yeah, I try. I have the same problem too. Okay, good to know. <laughs> my second question. I don't know, oh, oh, sorry. I don't know if people have read your book here, but um, I loved it. Uh, but the first chapter, I don't know if you already know, <laughs> but it's uh, called, hold on, I have to go back to it. It's uh, Draco's first scrape with the law. Yes. Is the Polaroid still there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I hope so. Uh, I don't think so. I think the shop is closed. For those of you who don't know, I have ri written a brief memoir of my times so far uh, from uh, from growing up acting from seven, six, seven years old till now um, in my mid thirties. So it's. Uh, we called it a memoir because my grandpa would be very upset to think I've written an autobiography at 35 years old or whatever it was. Um, but yes, I have written a book, it's called Beyond the Wand, and uh, it's basically a collection of all the scraps of paper that I've had in my house for the last 20 years, because I, I find writing to be very therapeutic, like playing music, or whatever, watching TV, watching films. Um, so I collected all of these pieces of paper. <laughs> uh, uh, and I gave it to a friend of mine. And he's a very good writer. And he's, he, he didn't, cha didn't change anything. He just said, this has to be the first chapter in which I try to steal a DVD from a shop and get banned for life. <laughs> it's not something that I recommend doing, but it's also hopefully a sign that I was lucky enough to live uh, a normal, a normal muggle life enough to do something as stupid as that. <laughs> we all do stupid things sometimes. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. The show of comic film and manga fest. We gaan over enkele minuten sluiten. We zullen hier zijn om ze naar een uitgang te vinden. Zullen we nu wat hartelijk bedankt. Een fijne avond en tot de volgende keer. Ga je ervan uit? We zijn. I think we're safe. Okay. Was a friendly voice, friendly guy. Next question, please. Sorry, hello, Zoe. I am I'm an actress myself and I've been acting since I was like eight and I would always tell people that I wanted to be a big actress in England or um, America. So what's your biggest tip on making my dream come true? I was in the right I uh, have a great mom, first of all, uh, <laughs> for my case because I wanted to be an ice hockey player six months before that. I wanted to be a violinist six months before that. I wanted to be a football player. Um, and no matter how many times I changed my passions as a young kid, she, she worked three jobs. Uh, I have three older brothers as well. My poor, my poor mom. But she always supported me. So I was in the right place at the right time uh, because of my mom. Um, really, uh, I'm just incredibly lucky that uh, work of one work of one woman uh, and a huge creative team. Um, it's Joe Rowling's story that that is the reason I'm sitting here. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with. Uh, um, how good I am, or how good I was. I got a lot better than my, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I hope. But, um, you know, it's uh, ex accepting as well that you're probably wrong for 99 auditions out of 100. So that means 99 times you have to read the lines, learn the script, turn up, get nervous, Go to the audition and just be told no. Uh, and if you can get those 99 no's out of the way, then the one yes, you're perfect for. So I just try to get as many no's out of the way as I can. So for the role that I'm right for, it, they say yes almost straight away. Okay, <laughs> so thank you very Good luck. Much. I look forward to working with you one day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next question, please. Hello. Hello. Uh, I have a question. Um, if you could be any Hogwarts teacher, uh, what class of subject would you like to teach? And why? 
I love the, the questions are unique, very unique. Um, <laughs> good job. Um, I don't know. Uh, my first answer, my first thought was Snape, but now I like uh, Gilderoy Lockhart. Uh, <laughs> even though I was on the other side, uh, he's so much fun. <laughs> I think it'd be fun to play. Yeah. Either or. Either or. It would be fun to play. Thank you. Next question, please. Hi. What is your favorite book or all films? My favorite line? The Harry Potter films. Oh. Yes. Again, I can't. It's hard to choose one. I just like saying Potter. <laughs> uh, so that works pretty good. Um, also, we, yeah, we, we did these scenes very quickly. I didn't think something that I said uh, twice in, in my, you know, uh, I, would, I would be saying 20 years later. Um, so I always like that. Um, my father will hear about this. <laughs> but mostly, yeah, I scared Potter. Uh, or, you know, there's, there's too many to choose from, but those are my two favorites. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next question, please. Hi. So, I have a little bit random question, but um, what is your favorite Disney movie if you have one? Oh, mate. And if that's a difficult to choose just one, then maybe your top three. Ah, uh, br again, brilliant question. Uh, I'm going to ask you, so get your answers prepared. But uh, Toy Story comes to mind. Uh, Aladdin. I got, I got Aladdin for my birthday on VHS when I was six or seven. I always remember that for some reason. Um, oh, I'm struggling for a third. Give me, give me your first two. Pete's Dragon and Taggart. Mm -hmm. Okay. I and you've just given me the answer. Robin Hood. The yeah. original Robin Hood where he was a fox. Oh, that's <laughs> I love that. I love Thank that. you so much for your answer. It's Thank my pleasure. So Thanks for the question. Next question, please. Hi. Hello, my dear. If um, you were to bring more music out, would you have any other artists that you would like to collaborate with? So, <laughs> Great, uh, I, um, I am actually... I've said that for a long time, but I am actually um, uh, doing it this time. Yeah, I, was, I released my. Uh, I'm releasing it in chapters rather than one album. The pressure of recording one whole album uh, took too much time and too much. Uh, I was never in one place long enough to record properly. So now I'm just taking two songs at a time with different producers from all around the world. And I released my first one, Red, uh, which came out two weeks ago, I think. Um, and the next one will be coming out soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question, please. Hi, Tom. Hi, darling. Uh, my question is, uh, you seem quite an empathetic and kind person, so probably my things can upset you. Uh, what is your uh, resource of inspiration and energy when you feel upset? Bloody hell. These are the, 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 really, some of the best questions I've ever had. Yeah. Great audience. Yeah. Um, and I'm happy to be honest and vulnerable with you. Uh, <laughs> um, like either direct contact with my family, like just seeing my brother or my mom, just that's a good start. Even speaking to them, it's great. My mom, <laughs> my mom, she still, she doesn't understand phones very well, <laughs> but FaceTime, you know, is people know how to work FaceTime. She still puts the phone to her ear, uh, and then I'm like, "Mom, just put put the phone put put the phone in front of you." And every time she goes, "Oh, bloody hell!" <laughs> As if she's surprised. Uh, I said, "This has been around for a while now. You should have got used to it." That, or uh, obviously, 
for me, music. Music. Um, I would go with, it depends if I'm angry or pissed off, I would go to uh, Oasis or Nirvana. Uh, if I was stressed or anxious, I would go to Jack Johnson or uh, you know, the Beatles. That's kind of basically what takes care of me when I'm feeling uh, either angry or love. <laughs> Thank you. And as for the music, uh, you have a feat uh, called uh, Little Beat, right? When you uh, when you rap, do you have any plans uh, to record rap music anymore? Because <laughs> I really like your way of rapping. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I have hundreds of songs already recorded, which are only rap. That's that's how I started. Uh, just a pure. I used to make beats, and then um, I used to make beats, and the actors who played Crab and Goyle used to rap for me in in our dressing rooms at lunch lunch breaks. I still have the the recordings, so I learned a lot from them. Started rapping and uh, fell in love with Jack Johnson because of his samples, because of his. Um, beautiful guitar, and then uh, progressed into more singing, rapping. So, I don't know, but the, those boys, Trinix, they're a French, French group of uh, musicians, French pair of brothers, I believe, um, who I was, I was a big fan of, and I basically slid into their DMs and said, can we make a song together? Uh, and I just sent them a bunch of a cappella lyrics, and they found the right beat. But uh, yeah, are you here tomorrow? No, no. Ah, okay. Well, either way, I'll wrap something for you tomorrow. Thank you. Next question, please. Hi. Uh, what's Hello, mate. Uh, what's your favorite scene in Harry Potter? It's a hard question. What's yours? Exactly. It's hard. <laughs> it's a difficult question. Uh, and I, again, I'll change my opinion every hour that you ask that question. But. For some reason, the one that strikes me immediately, I don't know why I find this, find it so funny, but um, is it, uh, it is in the Chamber of Secrets where Gilderoy Lockhart gets uh, hit with the, is it Confundus charm? No. Uh, spell? What? Where he loses his memory and has no idea who he is. Um, so Gilderoy Lockhart, Ron, and Harry and he has absolutely no idea who he is. I find that to be one of the best scenes. Um, my favorite that I was in, it was the, uh, uh, in half Blood Prince, the uh, bathroom scene. That was a joy. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we have time just for a few more questions, so go ahead. No, no, it's <laughs> Hi Tom. Hello, lovely. Hello. If you could have played any other character apart from Draco or Harry, who did you want to play in Harry Potter? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been good. I would have been good. Uh, no one. There's no one out. I'm too uh, too close to uh, Draco now that I can never play anyone else. I could maybe play on my dad later in my life, but uh, I miss I, I miss him. <laughs> it's like he was that <laughs> he was that big of a part of me, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing anyone else. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question please. Hi, I have um, a very quick question. What is the most astonishing thing that you uh, received from a fan? <laughs> uh, that's a pretty strange stuff. Um, I don't know. Well, 
my brain tends to try to forget the bad. <laughs> oh, but I've had uh, very, very early on, when I was young, I had adoption papers sent to me. <laughs> well, sent to my mum. Uh, yeah, no, this is no bullshit. This is oh, like, wow. it's, it was the real legal, they wanted me to change my name to Draco Malfoy. <laughs> he had legally changed his name to something Malfoy and he wanted me to leave my parents and go and live with him somewhere in America. <laughs> I'm very, very lucky that my mom said no. <laughs> she was thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, and unfortunately, that's the whole time that we have for you today. Uh, my beloved audience, tomorrow you can see Tom at his signing booth and his photo ops and also on stage with his guitar, rapping <laughs> and singing. <laughs> And uh, thank you so much. Thank you very so much lovely. for having me. Uh, yes, first time here in Rotterdam, and um, thank you very much for all being so amazing and friendly. And